was that? I didn't get that. I, I, well, I didn't say it. Oh, yeah. What was that? I don't care how I get killed. Like an idiot. What's going on, everyone? Welcome to another video. This video is going to be a bit different. It's me reacting and responding to a debate I had with a couple of guys on the streets the other night about veganism. And it got a little bit heated. I got a little bit worked up. Um, it really affected me in a way that I, I couldn't continue doing outreach for about 20 minutes. I had to cool down. But as you can see, just the first sentence from this guy's mouth was he doesn't care about animals, he doesn't care how they're killed. So I probably didn't, shouldn't have engaged in a discussion with this guy, but he had another guy with him. I thought maybe I could get someone with him, so I continued anyway. But anyway, let's go through it together and we'll see how it turns out. Ah, oh, okay. So you don't care about animals at all? Uh, they're below the food chain. Oh, okay. Anything below the food chain is edible. Just because they're edible doesn't mean it's morally right to eat them. Humans are edible. What about dogs and that? They blow us on the food chain. It's okay to treat dogs. They do. Do you think that's okay? They're an animal. What's his problem? That was a bit... There was some crazy guy going off at one of the activists, which is why I stopped there. He seems a little bit angry, eh? If you don't care about animals, there's no real point like uh, you know, asking you not to eat them or anything like that. But we just ask people to try to look at it from their perspective. You know, we don't want to see animals get hurt. Most normal, sane, rational people don't want to see animals get hurt. And but, I don't know. You probably have a different view on animal cruelty, yeah? Animal cruelty is not probably a bad thing. Yeah. Oh, well, I look at it like if if an animal is being killed, like at least do it. Here we go. Humane slaughter. How do you ethically kill somebody who wants to live, do you know? This winter, yeah, it's If they have an interest in, in living, every, and we take... Every view on that issue so far has... Whatever it takes. Well, it's all about a solution. Ethic, ethic, ethics and murder are two different, they're uh, opposing views. To, to be able to eat meat, which is proven that uh, humans need. I'd like to see evidence that we need the nutrients that are in meat specifically. Name a vitamin or nutrient in meat that we can't get from plants. Yeah. So we've been vegan for three and a half years, completely healthy, blood tests are fine. I, uh, I know a person who was vegan for 10 years and she was told she would die. She was so unhealthy? by her doctor that she would die. She was told by her doctor that she would die. See, you gotta be careful with these anecdotal claims, okay? People can say anything. I knew someone who knew someone who um, ate vegan diet and died. And probably that's not something that you know, why? I wanted to hear. Well, it because that really upset me. But, uh, so personally, yourself, like you, if you didn't eat animals, you think you would die? I didn't think I would die, no. Okay. Just, however, some people do, you know, suffer those consequences from... I'd like to see evidence of someone dying from going vegan. I've never heard of someone dying from not eating meat, but she became by a doctor that she would die. But even better, how about how many people die from eating meat? Let's just start with the 17.3 million people that die annually of heart disease. He might have just been unhealthy as a person. A medical professional, whereas you know most people standing here are not. A doctor is a medical professional, and most people standing here are not. Well, what about doctors like Dr. John McDougall, Dr. Neil Barnard, Dr. Codwell Esselstein, Dr. Greger? What about the American Dietetics Association, who say that a vegan diet and lifestyle is healthy for all stages of life? Are they medical professionals enough for you? What about Dr. Kim Williams, the American president of cardiology? I'm Dr. Kim Allen Williams, and I'm currently the president of the American College of Cardiology and chief of cardiology at Rush University in Chicago. Uh, I am a plant-based nutrition cardiologist. Uh, there are a handful of us and a growing number uh, as people recognize that there's enough data out there to suggest that uh, heart disease is largely uh, an epidem epidemic that is due to food. Vegan. Is that medical professional enough for you, mate? No, we're animal rights people. We think it's wrong to eat an animal. Medical professional that's saying that you know I would I would ask I would ask that doctor what is in a meat that you can't get from a bean. I don't know. But How does the animal get this? Well, she might have not been eating enough. She might have had some pre-existing existence. That's just one. I've never seen any science to back that up. I've seen science science to prove that. I know someone that you know. 
Do you know someone? But that's not really evidence, is it? It's not really evidence. No, I mean, I can't prove it. Exactly, you can't prove it. Got exactly. Everyone here are vegan. Everyone here is vegan. There's 20 people standing behind me that are all vegan and healthy, so your one anecdotal claim doesn't really have much uh, leverage now, does it? I'm, a, I'm allergic to quite a lot of vegetables, so I have to eat meat. Oh, really? My brother can't eat any citrus or like most of the You can't eat fruit. You can eat potatoes, rice, pasta. Uh, yeah, sure. Potato chips, very, fries. Very, very vegan very veganism contain. Uh, we've got meats. We've got uh, milk. I'm still gonna take the advice of a medical professional. What about all these medical professionals? I would question his. Me you know, the doctors used to recommend cigarettes in the 50s. I know they did, which is crazy. Was that good advice? Oh, no, that's terrible advice. The doctors. Uh, still smoke and I don't Here's a question How, how, how long uh, nutrition training do doctors get, do you know? Okay, so on average, students receive 23.9 contact hours of nutrition instruction during medical school. Only 40 schools required the minimum 25 hour recommended by the National Academy of Sciences, so that's not very much. Not very much at all. Well, doctors That's a whole uh, different matter. There, there, there is so many variables in that question that that answer cannot be. Well, it's not much. Uh, if you look into it, it's not much. Well, that depends. They're trained in medicine. There's so many variables you cannot give to me that I cannot answer that question. Yeah. So you think that that's a justification for putting animals in a gas chamber? Because that one person. No, I don't think that was justification at all. No. Because putting animals in a gas chamber is just crazy. But that's what we do. So we can. You put animals in the gas chamber. Well, that's Human really beings nice. do. Vegans put animals in gas chambers. Yeah, yeah. Human beings do so we can eat them. Uh, Human beings do. Yes, but not all people do that. Anyone who eats animal, bacon. Not all animals are stores by putting them uh, in gas chambers. Well, what are the other ways we kill them? Uh, we, there's tons. There is can you name a few? endless methods of killing an animal or a person or anything. Can you name a few that we do to animals? kill a tree in many different ways. And here we are. A tree. Yeah. They have feelings. Plants feel pain. Tree has plants feelings. Plants have feelings. They are technically living um, creatures. So plants are living creatures. Let's just have a look at the, the meaning of creatures here. An animal or person. Okay, so here we got another genius who's saying that a plant is an animal. They have a brain, a functioning nervous system. Yes, they do actually. They've actually got a brain. Yes. Wow, trees have brains now, everyone. You cut a tree open, you can find a brain. They've actually proven. Oh, Shut up for a minute. They've actually proven that if you put two plants together and let them grow up to full size, you kill one, the other will feel pain for it. It feels pain. Yes. So just because plants communicate intelligently does not mean they're sentient. Uh, mobile phones can communicate intelligently when you send a text to each other. That doesn't mean that the phone is sentient. So like, oh, are you sure it's not reacting to stimuli in the environment with intelligence? They've actually proven they actually feel for each other and communicate with each other. Oh, they communicate intelligently, you mean? They've proven it. But there's a difference between sentience and intelligence. Do you know what the difference is? Communicate intelligently, is it not yeah. worth anything? Well, I can communicate. Phones communicate intelligently. that trees aren't important to us because they don't communicate? I'm saying that trees don't have moral value because they don't suffer. They, they're not sentient. So what? So, they don't so feel pain. Fine to cut down trees. They don't feel pain they don't experience subjective reality they're plants because when someone because when someone's brain dead in hospital what do they call them what okay what do they call them they can't see they can't feel that they're brain dead but yet they still a vegetable but they, yet they still can actually feel pain no they can't uh, no no a brain dead person is called a vegetable so so you it's perfectly fine for us to cut down trees is that what you're saying well we can cut down a tree and it's not ethically so, wrong uh, ethically wrong okay because so, trees it, don't have moral value. So a tree or a plant cannot be included in the moral community. They are inanimate objects. They they are living, but they're not sentient. It's just it's just it's like giving um, moral value to a rock. Uh, environment. 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 And do you know if you care about the trees, system, okay. Our air supply. Great. So great what about point. The animal That's a great point. So, do you know why we have trees? It affects all those things and okay. lots more things more. So, we're cutting down the ra rainforest for what reason? Do you know? Well, lots to of grow soybeans. Do you know what for? You know, money. No, no, no. What what's, the, what's the majority of it cut down for? Where it's cut down? The Amazon. The Amazon? I don't know what that is. Soybeans. Do you know what we, who we feed the soybeans to? The cattle. We're cutting down the Amazon to grow soybeans, to feed to livestock so you can eat. So, if you care about plants and you care about the environment, 
then veganism's the go. Right, uh, okay, so, so by eating meat, we're killing more plants. Cut down all our trees and place them Small so right. Every tree in the world, we would die. Well, they're doing it in the Amazon. Right? Well, oh, okay, there's another reason why it's we shouldn't eat meat. Well, they're cutting it down for soybeans. To grow soybeans to feed to cattle. This isn't human soybean feed, this is for cattle. Yeah, yeah but you, you said it was perfectly fine to cut down trees. I said it's not morally wrong for me to go up and cut down that so tree you would there. Go down and cut down that tree. If I needed to build a hut for myself and cut down the tree, that's fine. So what about right. what if the birds so are gonna We can plant another one. So the, 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 tree does, the tree does not have an interest in... A tree or a plant does not have the same interest in, in living as a pig or a cow or a sentient being, a chicken. I don't know what to eat. Say I'm an uneducated person, I'm out in the wilderness, I don't know any plants, what's safe to eat, what's not safe to eat. I see an animal, I go, okay. If I can kill that, I know I can kill that. Okay. I can eat it. Is it okay That's for me to eat? That's fair enough. You're not in that survival situation in suburbia though, are you? No, I'm not. But so what's, was, what's, what's, but you're not. Yeah, your, your comparison there with the tree is crazy. No, you're saying that trees have moral value. Go cut down that tree right now and build a hut. Okay. I'm saying that it's okay. That it's the same there's a difference that you're making here. No, there's a difference it's, between it's plants and animals. Act. It's the exact same. Trees do not have moral value. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that trees don't have any value. Obviously, they give us oxygen. But plants that we eat, like carrots and broccoli and, and grains and wheat, are a lot different to the oxygen-giving plants in the Amazon that we're cutting down to grow soybeans, you know? This guy is saying that I'm saying trees don't have any value at all. No, I'm saying that they can't be given moral consideration because they aren't sentient. It affects everything in this world. The na nature is a huge part of the planet. No shit. Right? So you care more about trees than you do about an animal that can experience pain. No, I'm not pain. saying that. I'm, not saying, well, that. I'm saying that if you were to cut down all the trees, like you said, it's perfectly fine to do. That's a straw man. I didn't say it's perfectly fine to cut down all the trees on earth. No, 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 I didn't say that. I said no, no, if no, I no, needed no, to you, cut down a tree, it wouldn't be morally wrong. You a tree. Okay. What? A tree. You're going to build an A tree. Now, if you care about the forest. A tree. <laughs> So here we got lost. I'll, I'll let him take me on some merry-go-round about a tree and whether it's ethical to cut down all trees. No, I should have brought it back to the point, which is, do you think it's justified to holocaust billions of animals for a sandwich? And do you think the fact that plants can communicate intelligently is a justification for that? That's where I should have kept it, but I started. He got me aggravated and angry and he pulled me off on this tangent. If you care about the forest, okay. right? If, if, if I, I would like to see you cut down that tree right now, which is perfectly okay. And not a hut. So your argument is because trees feel pain, they suffer, they, they communicate with each other. All right, you're saying that that's that's your argument. That's why it's okay to stab billions of animals to death for a sandwich. I'd say it was perfectly fine to stab billions. That was your argument. That plants feel pain, yeah? Yes, they do. So if I walk up and kick, kick a tree, it will try to avoid the pain. It can run away. Um, why would why would they? Why why it 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 because it doesn't need to. It doesn't oh, need to so avoid if, pain. If, uh, that's if, uh, why they're in the ground. If an animal were, didn't need to avoid pain, it would be perfect. Okay, so this is where the camera cut out, and what he was about to say was that if a, if an animal couldn't avoid pain, it would be perfectly fine to kill the animal. And that's not what I was trying to say. What I was trying to say is trees don't have pain avoid, avoidance mechanism. They might have uh, stimuli um, react. They might react to stimuli and, and have some defense response, but they don't have legs to avoid pain. They can't run away or swim away. They don't have a nervous system. Okay, that's what I was trying to say. This guy just wanted to take me on some merry-go-round of you know, moral gymnastics and uh, about plants um, experiencing subjective reality, which just isn't true. I got really um, agitated by these two. I let it get the better of me a bit and I shouldn't have, and I should have just stuck on topic and kept bringing it back to the point. But uh, it's always good to hone your debating skills with people like this. And I just thought I'd, I'd commentate through it. Um, it really, really pissed me off a lot and I had to take a break for about 20 minutes from doing outreach after this. But yeah, I mean, plants feel pain is probably one of the most frustrating arguments that you're gonna come across and the science just doesn't back it up. Scientific consensus is that plants are not sentient and it's quite obvious that they aren't. Tree has feelings. Plants have feelings. They are technically living um, creatures. It's just one of those days. Okay, so here we got another genius who's saying that a plant is an animal. 